Hello guys, Abhinav along with Angelo here for a collab tutorial in rotating 3D objects in PowerPoint without morph. So today I will show you how you can make a rotation of flat pyramid in PowerPoint while Angelo in his video will show you how you can rotate this cool 3D sphere in PowerPoint 2010 which you can obviously check out here. So the first question that will come to everyone's mind is that why only PowerPoint 2010 we could just choose PowerPoint 2016 put the morph transition and the 3D shape and voila the animation is done. But it's not the case because firstly it does not have the flexibility of smoothness of start as well as smoothness of end. And secondly it's not available to all the persons. So it's not bad to say that the method we are going to introduce today is better than it better than morph transition also before jumping on the basics i would like to show you one application of my tutorial so watch till the end to get this secret of making unveiled and yeah i think you would like this collab so this is not a very difficult one not a very complicated one just the basics just two or three animation and you'll see that we have got a rotation done the apparent rotation i must say so in powerpoint 2010 we don't have combined shape tool you can follow this procedure of adding it manually though it's by default present in powerpoint 2013 and higher versions so we have to manually add it. it's not a big issue now i will insert a rectangle to cover the full slide you can remove the outline and change its color to this flat yellow color I will insert a triangle, align it to the just center of the slide, increase its size according to you, it's just according to you. So you can change the color to a dark color, um, a flat dark color, copy this triangle and place it right over the before. Click on this rectangle then the triangle and go to shape subtract. And you can see that we have got this mask prepared. Now comes the major part which is you can say the first method which has one drawback but is very much time saving. So I have this circle, you can bring this triangle to the front. Now I will find the center point of the circle. For that I will insert a line to cover the full diameter of the circle. Let's make it more visible. Okay. So the upper edge of the triangle should touch this diameter. That will be the center point or the anchor point of the circle. And yeah, it's right here. You can delete this line, make it to no outline and increase its size such that it covers the full triangle. This might be fine. Remove the fill of the circle and group both of these objects. Send this grouped object to back. Now go to animations and add a spin effect. Go to effect option, make it to full smooth end with a 60 degree spin and I will rotate it counterclockwise. Now you might be thinking why only 60 degree spin? You can see that it is nearly an equilateral triangle so all angles must be 60 degree. So that's why it is approximately 60 to 61 degree. But I will show you one thing. If I play it once you can see that one line is coming over here that means we have to increase its rotation by one or two degrees. Let it be 61 degree and you can see that the line is almost gone. You can start this with previous and decrease the duration to one second and increase the delay to 0.75 seconds. So it will look just like this. Now I will insert the background a rectangle just to cover the base of the triangle remove the outline go to format shape pattern fill make it to any I would like this diagonal lines change the background color to this and a dark color okay so this will be the background apply a flying effect from the left and the duration will be 1.8 seconds started with previous with a delay of 0 seconds and make it to full smooth end and the last thing send this to back yay we have done we have rotated object but i told you it has one drawback it is time saving but has a drawback at the right side 
I don't know if you can see but there is a small glitch and we don't work with glitches I've said so to rectify it we have method 2 which though seems a bit complicated but is having no drawbacks and has a lot of advantages rather so I will duplicate this slide take this grouped object ungroup it and delete the circle take this triangle and we will change it to a very particular shape go to edit points the left edge would be bigger much bigger and the right edge would be a bit smaller remember this shape this particular shape is required for this method I will apply the animation of spin as well as grow shrink take both of these with the control key make it to duration one second start them with previous and go to effect option make them with full smooth end you can increase the delay to also 0.75 seconds now take the growth effect make it to 0% of size and horizontally that will it will horizontally diminish just like this and take the spin effect and make it to 30 degree spin clockwise oh counterclockwise sorry but why only these if you can see that it is diminishing just parallel to the right side of the triangle which you can see just parallel and that's what we wanted now only one animation away and we would have no drawbacks left go to add animation and I will add this right motion path with the help of shift key decrease the size such that it touches the right edge of this triangle just it has to touch it and now you can see that we have got a similar wipe effect I will decrease the duration to one second started with previous and delay of 0.75 seconds make it to full smooth end now you can see that we have got this wipe effect over here but we don't want this wipe effect one single trick and you can see that we will get a vanishing point over the right side just see here take this motion path and let its starting point be the center of the slide make this motion path a bit above and it should touch the right edge of the triangle and you can see that we have got a vanishing point that's what we wanted in the previous one the vanishing point had a glitch here there is no glitch and there is the flexibility of changing the vanishing point if you take this motion path a bit above the vanishing point will be more vivid if we take it more below it will be less vivid and that's what we wanted that was the basic and I told you that I will unveil the secret of that super cool animation so in this powerpoint we have three slides the first slide in which I have this triangle you can put as many triangles you want and the one you can see the pyramid sliding through it's just the motion path I have put to the mask as well as the triangle in the second slide you can see that we have all the trim paths and that base border so there's nothing much more new about it I have made a video on the concept of trim paths also also the last slide which we have is the motion background so basically we have three layers the first is the pyramid the second is the trim path and the third are the motion background and rest is your creativity how you use the basic concept to make something more amazing and this motion background it's just one animation you know very easy to create so the two major things are this trim path and the pyramid which you have the basic concept about so that was all for now thanks for watching my video i hope you like this collab and if you really enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like button and stay tuned for the very next video Peace.